Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 26th, 2020. So today we have The Secret. Oh boy. <laughs> so really I want to first say that the first level of message that comes through is you're learning the secret of you. You're learning all that stuff that you would hear for years and years about, oh, be blissful, be serene, be, you know, peaceful and loving and all that stuff. It's starting to make sense. This is the equivalent of if you've ever heard of people who are like, ah, I used to think love songs were so cheesy and then I fell in love and I finally understood the love song. The secret is you figuring out and connecting with the love song. <laughs> right in a grander sense so the secret of you what is your true power and when we say power it doesn't don't let that inflate your ego right because when somebody especially a human says power it blows you up right and makes you big like a giant and then you imagine yourself being above or more important than anybody else and then maybe you catch yourself and you go, okay, no, that's not what it really is. But there's always that moment of the human ego flaring up first. So the secret also, this next layer of messaging has to do with secrets being revealed. You already know it. Here's the thing. There were things that had been going around out there and I heard about it and I was like, I, I, I just couldn't get my consciousness to open up to it. And now being where I am and looking back and learning even more, I'm like, what was that thing that made me shut off? What was that thing? Whatever that thing was, that when I started to pay attention, it was almost like I went into a sleep. What made me shut down? Hmm. Curious, huh? So the secret is that you already know the secret, but you're just waking up to it. And they are saying justice will be done. Justice will absolutely be done. But if you want to constantly victimize yourself, oh, I'm too precious to hear these things. Like you heard it. I'm not talking about people who go into shutdown mode. I think that's interesting. Um, and like I said, I've experienced it myself. But I'm talking about the ones that know what's going on and they're constantly trying to deflect or they're trying to constantly go, oh, I, I, I can't listen to this. I ju it's just too dark and heavy. I just can't. <sighs> well, thanks. Okay. <laughs> right. So those people, they're going to, you know, you're going to end up eventually falling behind. And these are things that need to be addressed. It's up to us. We have to take care of one another. All right, so that comes through love and compassion and not, not pretending like things aren't there. Again, there's a differentiation between whatever makes us shut down. If you're still processing, like if you're hearing about horrible things happening out in the world and those things have happened to you and you have this automatic shutdown, you know, we're not talking about that. That's completely understandable. We understand. Or there's another layer, as I was just describing, of kind of being conditioned to not take things seriously or think people are just making it up. But then there that, there's that other group of, they have this self-belief that they can't handle anything. And so they just don't, they just retreat. You're gonna be that group of people that gets a little roughed up today, <laughs> emotionally maybe because, and I, as I said, be careful, always come back into the peace and the harmony as much as you can, all right? But you know, things that might come out today, I don't know if it's today, or if it's just kind of the energy is circulating today, the secrets will be revealed, okay? So we are gonna leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.